The relationship between the Hunt Museum and Sybil Connolly began back in the 1950s. Uh, John and Gertrude Hunt moved from uh, Limerick to Dublin and they lived um, in a flat in number 71 Merrion Square, which later became Sybil Connolly's home. Sybil and Gertrude became great friends and uh, Gertrude was one of her very good uh, customers. Uh, when Sybil finished uh, designing clothes before she branched out into interior design, she gave three beautiful little maquettes, um, which were miniature dresses that she used to make to show her customers. She gave these to Trudy Hunt, and these three little maquettes form part of the Hunt collection today. Um, after Sybil's death in 1998, um, some sketches were purchased at auction and donated to the Hunt Museum, approximately 200 sketches. Uh, so with these in the collection, the museum decided that we should do a, a very big exhibition on Sybil, and that was in 2002 when um, we put out an open call to, to the public looking for uh, examples of her work, and obviously clothes came flooding in at that stage. So we had um, a really vibrant exhibition of her clothes, her interior designs, her glass, ceramics, um, a major, major exhibition uh, which uh, gave huge prominence to this wonder wonderful designer. Um, she would never be forgotten because she was an absolute pioneer. She was an amazing woman in the 50s and 60s um, who put Ireland on the, uh, on the map uh, fashion-wise. Following that exhibition in 2002, um, a lot of the people that had loaned uh, pieces to the collection donated them and subsequently John Connolly, who we had borrowed some works from to, also donated a huge archive of, of Sybils to the museum. And now in 2018, it is uh, the 20th anniversary of Sybil Connolly's uh, death and we thought it was a very timely time to take these works out uh, out of storage. Unfortunately, these works are kept in storage due to space um, restrictions in the museum, but we're really delighted uh, to be celebrating Sybil Connolly again in 2018. And uh, so this collection is entirely owned by the Hunt Museum and it is uh, from the Sybil Connolly archive.